I know what two and a half inches looks like, Zoe. Morning. Just at my lambs of the clover. Got a wrapper. Got to get them in. We've got a little bit of fly strike in them. For the last few days of September, thought we had enough cover on them to get us through, but wet, warm weather. Fly. And it's just sort of not coarse out. Well, it has. I just thought we had enough cover on them, but we haven't. We'll get them in, treat them. Gonna move on to our last block. Well, not our last block. There's two more up the road, but last block here. It's come back lovely, to be fair. We've done a very nice job of grazing that. Key with clover is just don't graze it too hard or you kill it. But yeah, we're on to this next a few docks. Yeah, baby. We're going to just fence this one off and then we've got two smaller blocks up the road and then we might be able to just get back on this for another two days per field or something and then hopefully we'll get a few away fat. Right then, shall we? The ground here is exceptionally hard at the moment. Didn't bring my wheelbarrow, so we're going to have to get a bit creative. This is today's design. Nice. Whee! Whoa there, horsey. Oh, on. God, you're sharp on them brakes. <sighs> it's really hard to make fencing look very good on video at all, but things are really hotting up here. Are we gonna run out? edge of your seat stuff on it. I've videoed fencing several times and there's just no way of making it interesting. Cause it's not. Right, I'm gonna put a post out and then get these bad boys in. I really want to leave my fences up so we can come back on here a bit later on, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough fence. And every year I budget a bit for fencing, try and buy a bit more electric fence to get more and more as we grow. But uh, we've already blown that budget this year. Right, the clover's really doing the job. They've improved so much, I can't even explain. That's really good, because we had a bit of a worm and coxie issue in these, and we sort of dealt with it. They're on the right track now, so well happy with that. What I'm not happy at all about is, um, I've got four with fly in here, and that's not good enough. I've been sort of checking these by candlelight, because we're spread a little bit thin at the moment, and um, that's not good enough, really. It's completely preventable fly. Frustrating, because that's my fault. But, we'll sort them out now, look, there's one there. Put it across his shoulders. Gonna shear them. We'll get some stuff on them now. Also, we got a few like really um like dirty bums. So we're not really helping ourselves here, so I'm just gonna as we go through I'm gonna dag those ones out as well. Get them cleaned up. Start with the best ones. Well happy with them. Uh oh, Zoe's driving. Uh oh. Indy looks terrified. Nothing. Just saying how good a driver you are. So today I'm using a product called Click Zin. Usually I use something called Ectofly or Crovect. But in truth, the Ectofly and Crovect like really mess up my sinuses. I don't seem to agree with it very well. It makes me feel rubbish. It's just not a very nice product at all to use. Whereas this, they're oil based. Whereas this, I think this is water based, but it, it doesn't seem to like throw so much vapor about. So it don't quite get up in your sinuses and it's not as horrible to use. Downside is this is twice the price. Ectofly is about 70 quid a bottle. I think this is 140. Don't quote me on that, but it's a lot more expensive. But I think it lasts a little bit longer. I might have just made that completely. Takes for fly for eight weeks. Well, it's probably not a lot longer, but still, if anyone else has the same issue with <laughs> using Crovec, try this because it, it, it definitely doesn't affect me as much. Shear machine set. Still using the spare hurdle as a stand. I swear blind. 
that I ordered a stand for it and I'm 100% sure I did it and then it's just never turned up so I need to chase that up or get help because I actually thought I did it. Who knows? <laughs> A good example that one you see they just start on the shoulder and they just travel travel straight down and get into them a bit this one's not really had too much bother just yet but there they are look horrible gonna leave you with that haircut i reckon as well oh, i don't think we can do that it's pretty embarrassing isn't it we probably ought to have that off really haven't we <laughs> So my Hebridean lambs that I took to market last week, I held two back just to take on and fatten and just see what the price difference was to see if we're better off selling them as stores or in the fats. And I'm looking at it now, thinking I am a mug. <laughs> they should have gone to stores. Never mind, I won't be saying it in April when it makes 130 quid, will I? Lol. Right, all done, that clicks in. It's so much nicer to use. I've just got to get them back in and run them through into the. Should have definitely set the race up so they run out there but i was too busy beating myself up a couple of flies so what you gonna do they're probably gonna run down that way rather than through there but it's all part of fun isn't it just go back to the farm do a few checks Still hasn't carved. Cutest little calf you've ever seen. They're so nearly friends. Stay tuned. She loves him. Thought I'd just quickly quiz you lot. So, what do you reckon this cow's worth? I'm gonna sell her soon. Currently having this debate on Instagram. She's 22 month old short horn Ayrshire heifer. It's a nice cow really. What do we reckon? Drop what you reckon she's worth in the little comments below. But I reckon 900 quid, give or take. I think she should be there. Thanks for watching my YouTube, till next time.